I'm going to makeup therapy. I'm Manuela. I'm 45 years old mom of uh, two girls and today I want to try to make some video and maybe do some look and uh, just a chatty makeup. Uh, you didn't have a much concept but I was thinking that maybe we could do like a video where I can answer some random questions and uh, see uh, where we will go with the palette of my choice. It will be the palette from uh, pastel rose and it's heavenland eyeshadow palette which i have this here i didn't try it i got it uh, again on my birthday because i'm a sweetheart <laughs> it's just looking like this and uh, yeah if you're interested in what we are coming and what questions we will find in the web keep on watching so dear friends i did this look and my camera was not on so i talked to you about lots of things and i will tell you maybe <laughs> one of them was a um, question about uh, who was one of the first questions which i answered it was about who was my favorite teacher and i said that it was my chemistry teacher from the primary one because she was um, amazing pedagogy beast and she I struggle in the school in my first years. I feel not accepted. I've been called many times that I'm not clever, that I'm stupid, that I'm complicated and the list goes on. And uh, I didn't learn at all in my, my first year of my school. Like I did bare minimum just to survive, but I was I didn't do anything extra and no effort at all because I was already stupid. So what for, what for this, what for to even try? And as we start the <clears throat> classes of, uh, of chemistry, our teacher asked all class, who is not smart? So obviously I've been told so many times I'm not smart from very beginning of my primary that <laughs> I easily say that I am smart and uh, she said that she don't believe in that kind of opinion she wants to make her own so she asked uh, the people who it was not I was not only one by the way uh, so she asked these people uh, who has struggled who feel like they are not smart enough to come um, to the first seats because she said that she don't believe us. I'm using Hydro concealer, or at least show you the end of my <laughs> end of my end. My uh, children wants the ice cream for sure. <laughs> can hear the melody of ice cream. Ice cream van. Let me talk with that. Okay, <laughs> we have that sorted. So where I was with my story? Oh, so she said to us that she wants to try. And she wants to try also to prove us that we are not stupid. <laughs> she said that she will not give up on us. Because she's feeling that she's a good teacher. And she's able to learn us chemistry, no matter what. So when, she, when first time we had like a test, assembly test from whatever we learned there and she was doing that very regular with small bites she obviously made us to to do our things and like i said i was doing bare minimum and she said that she don't believe in that we cannot learn so whenever we have problem with something some part of this we need to repeat till we learn till we will pass so she didn't accept that we are not passing. And with her belief of, of that I'm not stupid, my grade in all of my education went up to the roof. It turns out that I'm not stupid. It turns out that I'm actually intelligent. It turns out that I actually am very good with mathematics. It turns out that I don't have any problem to remember any history, that I'm enjoying facts and process of learning 
I was just a first child who here was at the beginning of her journey that she is stupid. I had a problem with uh, fast writing from, you know, because I have very big problem with my eyes and I didn't have very proper glasses. So I didn't learn well, I didn't read well, I didn't... Um, I couldn't copy writing from the board to my daughter because whenever I put my hand, uh, head down and then up, I have to again search from the beginning where I left. So it was taking me forever to, to copy something. And um, that was thanks to my vision, which is not great. And uh, my astigmatism is really pretty serious. So um, years later, um, I just got the information that my eyes, it will be not better. This is just... This is what we have and it's it's just self-damage because of the astigmatism so um that was the the one good teacher can change your life i'm forever grateful that i met her because i don't think that i'm stupid anymore i was having tests i was really having kind of nice um, results of that test of this iq test and so on and uh, I understand that it's just a matter of trying more than one time. Sometimes you just need to try. <laughs> and the judgment which we are getting, even for the closest ones, even from your parents, for example, like in my case, they are just their opinion. Not you, essentially. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's my story about teacher. And I was thinking that this was a very fine question to repeat for you now. Um, I will tell you, I use very, this palette is very beautiful. Unfortunately, I tr I swatch all of this, this, this shades um, of sparkly shades. And uh, I tell you quickly what I use. I use this shade as a starter. Then I use this pink shade and this olive one here to define my front uh, eye, so it's looking a little bit like lifted, I think, that gives give me this. <laughs> and then I use uh, this gorgeous shimmer, kind of all over. And I use this shimmer on the outer V and here in the middle and in the inner corner. And I use this blue shade to lower lash line together with this one. And this is my look. I think this is very cute. This is like very everyday. Little bit something extra, but it's like everyday look, like a mom's look, which you can see mom's freezer, mom's look. Yeah, and I was just thinking that I want to try this and um, and try the random questions. So the another random question, which was maybe not that my favorite brush, my favorite bronzer. This was Pat Pat Powder from our Artitude Cosmetics. Mm, I love that. I love that. And I love this. It still smells good. And this is Zoeva 100 something. 100 or 101? No, I don't see clearly. 100. Giant brush. I like it. Because it's super soft. But because it's big, you can like diffuse it just lightly, like <laughs> blend itself. <laughs> Love it. Mm, yeah. So that was my um, another question, which was which was about traveling. Uh, what I do? What do I prefer? Do I prefer air or train? And I can tell you that like I love both. I really like flying, but I'm a chunky person. So <sighs> with that matter, uh, uh, train is more comfortable. And I was lucky to travel by train through Morocco. They are very nice trains, and I'm gonna use this moon um, moon eclipse uh, mm, crescent shade. Looks like this, 
and um, it was fantastic adventure in the positive way you can see all of landscape and like in Morocco it was very amazing to see how this landscape this is not a very big country um, but the landscape is changing um, they have like different soil different colors it was beautiful and um, I was traveling from the capital to to Marrakesh and in Marrakesh um, I was having so emotional moments on the train station like it was pretty amazing. Uh, maybe if I find some some pictures from there, I'll put some. Uh, it was really unforgettable, and I was also tra traveling there with this, their taxis. Like in old Mercedes, was like I don't know seven people. <laughs> in the front seat, you have three. <laughs> so I was feeling like everyone is piling on me because I am giant. But uh, many times they honor me because I'm I was out of. Like, they, I was seeing that I'm different, and yeah, it was fun, mm, great experience, and really opening eye experience, so yeah, and um, you could see like the cities like Casablanca, very modern, very up, you know, like a, like a European vibe. And you can see the cities like Fez, where you have all traditions, uh, tradition, and you just feel that the, the, the time stopped there, kind of. Uh, very amazing um, experience. Uh, and uh, Morocco is, was safe for me. I was feeling very safe and very smiley people were there. So that was great. Yeah, I didn't go with any organization. It was just like a private trip. Now with children, I will not, I'll not be brave like that, but uh, my curiosity is winning uh, my fear at that time. So I wanted to see how it is for real. I didn't want to have a trip from the, you know, tourist bureau and uh, just want to see real deal. And I, I, what I saw, it was beautiful. Great, great for traveling. I travel in... In their uh, outfit, I, I got like three jilabas, so I was always covered. And because I didn't speak, most of the people were thinking that I'm disabled. <laughs> that local disabled who does not speak. Because I, I was like, I didn't speak with any language there. I was quiet. But um, <laughs> I met lots of friendly people on my way. And I have a friend who was showing me things, where to go. And that was helpful. Mm. A very pretty place. And definitely worth it to go by train. Even when you're there on the normal holiday, you could get the train and take a round to Casablanca or somewhere. Even when you are just, just flying to Marrakesh, which is very much full of tourists. The biggest souk there and um, live day and night. And um, very, very gorgeous. I like that. I was taking the the run with the the carriage through the in the night with all of the slides of the silk and people and uh, masks and uh, gardens a oh, very pretty place i i really um, enjoyed that time very, very beautiful i wish to come back to 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 morocco one day soon if i would be lucky and brave you know because hmm. My mental state is not promise. Back days I was kind of more adventurous. Yeah, I'm focusing on not poking my eye. <laughs> not that I'm doing any great job with mascara. Uh, yeah so that was my winner and then i was telling you also it was a question about your favorite toy and i had one and this is also like a nice story to say so again when i was obviously little but a very little girl i was maybe two years old i, I speak very fast mm, and quite well 
but um, I was not reading well and I was not copying them because of my eyes obviously but I was speaking very um, very fast uh, as a child and my mom was taking me we was I, I, I grew up in the during communist and my mom was taking um, us to to such an area where there's shopping and there's like shops for household goodies with the toys and um, in the communism time in the 80s uh, there we experienced most likely pretty empty spaces in our shops that when there was goodies there was also line with, uh, for people who getting these goodies and there was it was an event to have a shopping <laughs> it was an event to have a shopping uh, we didn't have a, a store full of stuff no it was usually pretty spacey <laughs> and when you want to buy chocolate or uh, meat you have to have some kind of cart and uh, with monthly allowances and then the cashier is taking from you this allowances and then you can pay for your stuff so you cannot buy amount which you want and <laughs> yeah and with the toys was also not uh, i'm looking for some eyeliner uh, with the toys it was not also a different story. They, they were not there. They were very little. If you have uh, one toy, you if you have this toy, probably your friend has just identical because there is no choice. And one day, my, my mom was walking with me around this area of, of shops, and they bring just brand just from the. We walk on the side where it was delivered, and in the delivery they was I don't know or staff was looking all this, or or what, but I saw that the, the doll. And I call to this doll, mom, this is my Yolka. I love this. This is my baby. This is my Yolka and I need to have it. I was able to convince my mom that this Yolka is mine and I have to have it. So let's get it because I want to take her home. And I remember my mom was was she was like pushing me to go to the other side of the in the front of the um, of the shops they was open opening for us the shop and this lady was you know having owning this delivery she sold to us this like in priority and this doll was with me from age two and a half all my childhood i even love her till now <laughs> this is me the most beautiful i never been jealous about others to have other toys my cousin was always she was the star of the house you know everyone was cheating her and she was getting that fancy one who she was talking she was like from america you know wow wow we were extra beauty very beautiful toy. don't get me wrong i love that one too but mine was the most beautiful for me in my eyes and I, I am like that I'm that kind of person that when I will love something or someone I'm loving it straight away I know that this is this is what I have in my heart and then I'm keeping it forever um, so yeah it's uh, obviously I made I made the smart choices uh, as I can and uh, um, you know love it's not going that I have to spend time with the people whom I love because if they have conditions which is hurting me I will I will step out but um, I, it will not change my feelings so um, that was my story with the doll and my love story in general <laughs> okay we have this we have this beautiful blush we have this beautiful highlight from P. Louise it's a liquid highlight on Wednesday uh, and this is like if you are a little bit older what a beautiful product is that I cannot um, I'm just, I'm just really feeling that this is the best product from Piloui's so far to face which I use, and I try a few of them, and um, yeah, and I like it. I use obviously the soft glam because I want to use it, not that I'm super loving it. But with the thin layer, it's it's kind of alright. Mm. It's cute, right? I could do some liner, I think, to spice it up. <laughs> Let's spice up this stuff. And um, can I have a liner like this? This color from Shein. I think it will do. Debbie do, Debbie day. 
but my old brushes fell down on the floor. If I don't have here any diamond or villa, I have a very tiny one. <gasps> yes, we uh, we saved the day. Yes, all my clean brushes left on the floor when I realized that I don't record my look. I drop everything down. Silly, silly, silly me. I try to use the back camera and I don't know. <laughs> it's not for me. Let's try to put this here. Not the best one today. Is it good to spice it up or just no? No. <laughs> I don't know now. Okay, let's do the same this side. Nice uh, liner, this is from Sheen. I got it a bundle from friends, so... I never been brave enough here, I screwed the job again. But this is like my problem, me, problem me, not the liner. Because these liners are really very good. I'll take the shade that I was not even tell me what else it's filling down here <laughs> uh, while this is wet i'll just take this shade which i use here this one and i want to just dim it on the back on the lower part I don't know. We're just trying here. We're just trying. Lips and I will be done. I will not hold you longer. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you like a little bit form like this. Uh, like form like this if I will record the look, right? But you can guess what I did. <laughs> mm, that, uh, do you like the random questions video? Should I do a pro one with the, me doing the look? <laughs> I tried this time and it didn't work. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is lip liner from uh, um, Beauty Bay and it's named Vidash. It's like warm brown, chocolatey brown. Not too warm, maybe, but rather, I would say warm. <sighs> and break my heart. This song changed my life forever. <laughs> I like Dark Liner since that song. If you know, you know. Now I'm trying just to reach for some... Oh, it's here. From Kaleidos. I have this for 
lip clay. I can tell you that I was so exciting to have it, but I don't use it enough. So maybe today, and maybe I start using it more because they're just going down. I'll use dark shade like this. Whoa. I was in love with this um, for lip play. Just, I'm not sure that this is my favorite formula. <laughs> I feel a little bit um, quite, I don't know how. Little bit not my formula, I think. But the colors are very beautiful and rich. Okay, I will keep it like that. Um, you could see at least my complexion. Uh, I hope that you'll have a fabulous day, evening, night, whenever you're watching that. And that I will see you on the next one. If you didn't subscribe, please consider to do that. I just hear to the glitzy gems video that the word algo algorithm is helping with the, in the comments. So whatever, if you, whatever <laughs> feel about me, can you write something, please? <laughs> algorithm, please. That would be awesome. Anyway, I'm uh, very grateful from the bottom of my heart. I really wish you very, very best. And I hope that I will see you next time. Till then, bye.